This segment may be just a little bit different than you're used to seeing on the King of the Road show. But one thing's for sure, it will be informative and entertaining, because we'll be visiting Universal Coin and Bullion in Beaumont. We'll hear from UCB President Mike Fulgens. Mike has turned a lifelong love of coins into a dream business, while maintaining a reputation as an honest and skilled numismatist and award-winning author. Since 1986, Mike Fulgens has received 27 Numismatic Literary Guild Awards, including three NLG Book of the Year awards in a specialized category, and 11 total awards for his investment and collectibles newsletters. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Fulgens of Universal Coin and Bullion in Beaumont. Hello, this is Mike Fulgens here at Universal Coin and Bullion, giving you a little insights into why people collect coins. I wanted to introduce you a little bit to me and what I do. I write books and materials on coins. We've been fortunate enough to win numerous awards, including Best Dealer Publication and Best Investment Book. We are recommended as the only official coin and bullion dealer of the NRA, and a number of our books are used by collectors. Now, you'll never find them on Oprah's Best Reading Club. These are reference sources. Even my wife doesn't read them. They are coin references, and for coin collectors, they're wonderful. Well, let's get into the fun of coins. I'm holding in my hand a 1923 piece silver dollar. It was issued from 1921 to 1935 to commemorate peace after World War I. Many years later, in 1983, 60 years later, the famed artist Peter Max did his artistic rendition of Liberty from this very same piece silver dollar. And thus we see over time art and history come together in our coinage. In fact, many years ago, I worked with James Earl Jones, uh, the voice of Mufasa on The Lion King, famous voice, on doing a video for the American Numismatic Association. And the title of that video was Money is History in Your Hands. Going all the way back to biblical times, our coinage, or the coinage of those times, have been seen as a type of even newspaper. They tell the story of what was happening in a certain place. Was the ruler friendly or was he a warmonger? What was happening over there? And was there a new ruler? I hold in my hand a coin from before Christ and it's considered to be the type of coin that was one of the 30 pieces of silver paid to Judas for the betrayal of Christ. Back then, these silver coins were worth about a week's wages and the betrayal was about five months salary that Judas would have been paid. Now this is not the exact coin, maybe it is one in 10,000 chance, but my friend Ken Brissett, who is a famous writer on coins, wrote a book, Money of the Bible, and this coin is included in here. If you have an interest in coinage, or history, or art, or the Bible, coins bring you down many paths to learn about what the history of this country or any country is, about art, about um, the times. Let's move over here to the fun you can get with our Bureau of Engraving and Printing. I have on the wall here an uncut sheet of currency. Now, if you want to give a gift from my prior experience that says, open me first, it isn't a camera. It's a gift wrapped in uncut currency. Now, don't pay large amounts to some catalog for these. You can order them directly from the US Treasury at the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, the BEP. And they charge a premium for 32 notes. It'll cost you about $50 or so. But you get it, and you can get a sheet of 32, 16, or 4. It comes either in a tube or a nice folder or wallet, and you can cut them up as you will. Now, I've had fun with these since I was a young coin collector. Uh, back in my growing up days in Lake Charles, Louisiana, I was four-time president of the local coin club, and this was one of the things we had fun as teenage coin collectors, going to a restaurant and tipping a waiter and cutting off two of these attached and they didn't know what to do with them. Or you take a date out to the movie theater and you bring your scissors and you cut off the eight or 10 $1 bills. They also sell twos and fives. You can have a lot of fun with it in restaurants or just wrap up a gift at Christmas, straight from the U.S. Mint. Another thing the U.S. Mint has out today that is wonderfully historical and beautiful is the new high relief gold piece. Right here, it's a $20 gold piece, double thick, being issued by the U.S. Mint, you can order it straight from there, which is a, a recreation of the famed double-thick ultra-high relief struck in 1907. 
The U.S. Mint has many products out there that encourage coin collectors, and that product I've written a brochure about right here about it in total because it brings together the most famous sculptor of the 20th century, Augusta St. Gaudens, and one of our most famous 20th century presidents, Theodore Roosevelt. The two together came together for what is widely acclaimed as the most beautiful coin ever made. Here is the original coin, a high relief 20 that is not double thick, and 102 years later, we have the same design with one slight difference that is very noticeable. The motto in God We Trust was missing on the original. It is there on the recreation because there was such a public outcry that the motto was not on there back in 1907 that the next year they added the motto in God We Trust back to our coinage. In front of me, we're talking about uh, the Transcontinental Railroad being completed in 1869. Once we had a railroad and we had stagecoaches, the dollars and gold were shipped in canvas bags called duck bags. And this is an actual duck bag used in 1884 from the New Orleans Mint with the official tag to ship silver dollars. And this is a Morgan silver dollar. Now the Morgan silver dollar is really an interesting historical story. The lady who posed for this was a school teacher, a kindergarten teacher. And she was terminated for posing for this coin because in those days, proper ladies weren't models and models weren't proper ladies. But she went back to school, which was in that era, many women didn't, and ended up being the superintendent of the school district. This is one of the most amazing stories on coins. And Lady Liberty is a design that is used throughout our coins as a symbol of our country, various forms of women posed as liberty. It's the King of the Road Show on KBTV Channel 4, and we're visiting with award-winning numismatist Mike Fulgens of Universal Coin and Bullion in Beaumont. More in a moment.